guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are good i know i know if you're a returning subscribers karibu sana 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 you're always supporting me thank you gang gang and for newbies well my name is miss jackie 254 i usually do lifestyle vlogs and now i'm back in the village and uh some of y'all from abroad you always say i want to take kenyan tea i want to take kenyan coffee but you barely know how it looks like or how it looks so today we're going to make a little bit of coffee plantation work kind of tea plantation work and you guys see basically before you get actual tea or the actual coffee how it basically looks in the coffee i'm from the terrain of um, Mount Kenya region, specifically Nyeri County. And since we're in the highlands, we usually plant tea and coffee. So yes, we are going to make a walk and I hope you enjoy the walk. I don't know if we start with the coffee or we start with the farm of tea. So if you're a new subscriber here, yes, I'm a village girl. I can slay at times and I can be today I'm wearing all village vibe <laughs> and you're going to make a walk in the farm and see basically God has been gracious it has been raining it's quite a bit muddy and we see a little bit of those coffee coffee things and tea plantation stuff and basically yeah uh, how the coffee stuff looks like so karibuni sana and enjoy as you watch my vlog guys it's cold i'm having a cold if you hear me talking in a very funny way don't worry I, i'm just having a cold <laughs> you say kenyan coffee is usually sweet so this is how coffee look like for those who don't know how coffee beans look like right now it's not the season for coffee it's usually basically in uh, december's and uh, and when may but when the coffee berries are actually not ripe this is how they look like guys that's how the coffee berry looks like so by the time you're saying oh my god i love kenyan coffee i enjoy doing kenyan coffee i'm trying to look at the tree that has uh, berries which are a bit ripe it's not yet time but this is how the coffee berry look like and you normally pick for example like this if it was a red bill you just pick like one like this and make sure the bud doesn't doesn't pluck off you leave this thing for it to grow the next time that you require a bin like this one for it to do floral for it to be floral like this you get so this is where we pick our coffees on seasons of coffee and right now they are not yet time and uh, yeah before you ask for kenyan coffee basically some someone comes and pick these sometimes it can be crazy it goes for an entire month you work on it you pick the coffees you take it to the coffee place after taking it to the coffee place you basically they pick the best ripe beans process it and then you have the the high-end uh dormant kind of coffee you, you drink so people from abroad we usually work on these beans and pick these beans we take to wherever they're supposed to be processed and that's how you normally end up accessing accessing you your coffee so yeah like i said if you hear i don't i i don't speak well sometimes it's very tiring now that i have a cold and it's it's a lot of weed yeah we need to weed i'm trying to look for the berry that is quite ripe even these hard berries the dark ones the dark ones are usually called bony and it still can be processed and and create the low version of coffee so yeah this is what's up so whenever you you see coffee processed this is how it's picked it has long long coffee trees and shorter ones the shorter coffee trees 
the different versions of a uh, type of coffee tree. You'll be asking how Kenyan tea looks like and you always like having the favorite tea. You know Kenya's tea is the best tea in the world. And like I said, I'm from Mount Kenya region and this is how tea looks like. Usually pick two leaves and the bud. Funny enough, I don't know how to pick like this one, guys. So this is actual, actually what is taken to the factory and processed to the Kenya tea bags that you have in your houses back abroad to, to tea bags to actually the leaves. This is what you actually take. This is the green. There is usually purple but here at home we usually have this green one. Look how it looks like. Actually this is how you pluck tea leaves and have some tea and definitely it has rained it's looking all awesome all lavishly green the vibe is just awesome some avocado trees over here just not yet ready not yet time but you're about to enjoy avocados but yeah basically whenever you say you want to have some Kenyan tea leaves from when when you're going abroad this is how we pluck you pluck it off you process it in the factory and first of all you collect it from the farm you take it to the tea center and then later on to the factory and then you get your final product but yeah and it's pretty cold guys it's pretty cold the avocado trees are here guys it's so green the weather is so good it's pretty good it's about to rain but i'm enjoying the vibe <coughs> the avocados are not yet ready but we are about to pick some very soon like in the month of may or something look how green it is guys we thank god it is raining the banana trees they're growing the beehive this is the house of a beehive we don't have to make a lot of noise i don't want to be stung but anyway the bees never come out during during rainy season but that is a beehive over there we make honey as well and we'll enjoy some money in three months so guys basically i want to show you an avocados avocados are not yet there you know this goes for several dollars abroad so they're not yet time guys it's raining oh my god it's raining <laughs> but funny enough i'm not being rained out but i have to rush in the house but this is an avocado tree and yeah oh uh, what tree is this this is macadamia tree do you know how an apple tree look like it's an apple tree guys but apples are not yet done it's an apple tree Oh my god, it's smelling honey, but there's no honey on the trees yet. Oh god, so green, so green. This is called a bottle brush, so green. Call this in your village. I don't know what you call this in your village. In my village, this is called a good mango tree. It has, it usually brings some fruit that looks like, actually you see the far end, the small piece that that over there it's actually called good mango i don't know why they call them good mangoes but yeah it's a good mango so yeah that's a good mango tree damn it's raining guys let me go and show you some little things in the farm that is another root plant some do well on upper hills and others do well on swampy areas so that's another root plant got a guava tree Guys, the joy of a farm is when it rains. This is what we call a guava tree. Oh my god, I was coming out from the farm and then it was raining. Then I decided, you know what, I'm going to show you. So this is a guava tree. It's raining outside. Ooh, as farmers, we are happy. Because definitely now, fruits, this is a guava tree. The good thing about the village, we eat things which are organic, you know. I'll come pluck some of this later on. Training, training guys. This is a compost, compost pit where we usually grow like perishable stuff to make our own manure guys. Look at the beans. 
Oh my god, the grass. God has done us very much favor. Look at it. Look at the beans. Look at the beans. This is a graveyard of my uh, grandpa and grandma. May they continue resting in peace. Look at the beans, guys. Oh, what a joy when it rains. What a joy. So this is where we throw perishable stuff to make manure, guys. This tree, guys, is a hub. The story about this tree, guys, uh, you can chew it when you have a toothache. I don't know what it's called. I'll ask my mother. My mom loves sweet, or what do you call them? Sweet potatoes. Have you ever seen purple sweet potatoes? She loves flowers, so she has planted as uh, vineyards which are sweet potatoes, which are purple sweet potatoes. Man, the rain makes me feel like wanting to stay outside. In the village, you become so local. Look at the, the tree I'm talking about. It's for making making actually your teeth stop aching when you have too thick. I can be a herbalist as well. When it rains, starvation goes away. Look at the banana trees. Oh my God, the banana trees, we are feeling nice because it's raining and there was too much. The food has become so expensive, but now because it's raining, Look at a tree tomato there. Let's go and have some. The joy of being a farmer is when it rains, guys. Look at that fruit. Oh, look at those bananas. The bananas. The maize are going to grow and there's no going to be hunger strike anymore. Oh, the rain. As a farmer, you enjoy farming out while it rains. You come out to play. Let me pluck these fruits, guys. Look at how green the kitchen garden looks like. Those are chilies, hot red chilies. Lots of beans, guys. Lots of beans. Let me show you another apple tree. This is the apple tree over here. A lemon tree. There's even pomo pomegranate tree over there. Lots of apple trees. This is a cassava, it's a cassava tree, this is a cassava tree, so we have, there are usually two but you'll get cassavas from here. More fruits, three tomatoes guys, there they are, I want us to pluck some lime, you call them lime or lemons, here are some lemons, because I'm having a cold let's pluck some, and I go and make some green tea. Put some lemon. The greens are over there, guys. Oh, the veggies are over here. Spinach and all that. It's raining. This is so good. More of lemon trees. And more rain. The kales. God. And the more and more and more of it. It's raining, guys. Let's go home. Hey, Getting through all the bad times with you I wasn't missing a thing, no I do And I wish that I could do this energy Cause time moves on And now you're gone Oh, if only I could do this energy Get you. I can't forget you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you all the time. I wish that. I wish that. I wish that you were mine. I miss you. 